Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your Dell Inspiron Mini computer on your Windows 10 device. So this should be hopefully a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys to follow today. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. And now you want to type in reset. Best man should see reset this PC. You want to just left click on that. Underneath recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them, and then reinstall Windows. Left click on Get Started. Underneath Choose an Option, I would recommend selecting Keep My Files if you want to preserve any files on your computer. And if you want to do a clean factory reset, select the second option here, Remove Everything. Now it's personal preference, but it definitely depends. Um, if you are going to keep your files, I would still recommend to back them up to an external media source in case something happens during the restore process. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to remove everything. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to do a true factory reset here. Then you're going to be prompted if you want to clean the drives too. First option just removes the files, which is less secure. That's really if you're going to be using your computer again. Second option is going to be more so if you're going to be donating it, so you would remove files and clean the drive. And for most people, the more ideal and more realistic one would be just to select just remove my files here. So I'm going to select that. And then we're going to have to finally confirm to reset this PC. We're saying we'll remove all personal files and user accounts on this PC, all apps and programs, and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button here to begin the process. This will take some time, so please be patient.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay, everybody, we're back from our restart. It looks like the factory reset has been a success. At this point, I hope that you guys are at a state that looks similar to this, and that you can just go and reinstall any applications or programs that were uninstalled during the factory reset process. And I would recommend creating a system restore point after you've installed some applications, just so you have something to go back to. It's always a good practice anyway, but I do hope I was able to help you guys out. 
And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.